So you come to the desert, you're driving, and then all of a sudden you have a dune in front of you. Usually, the dunes have two sides. So you have the hard side and then you have the soft side of the dune. Usually where the hard side is where the wind blows from in this area. So you know the uh, terrain of this area, how is it? Some dunes have plantation on them. These dunes are hard to hit, they're not soft. And uh, the dunes keep changing their location and shape. So be alerted on that one. Let's start when, with how to climb a dune. So you come to the desert, you're driving, and then all of a sudden you have a dune in front of you. You come straight to the dune, you're at this position. All you can see now is just a blue sky. You can't see what's going on on the other side of the dune. Now most of the people will get scared, they don't know what's on the other side of the dune. So what they tend to do is they come all the way to the top here and then they break and they just stuck. Now all their four wheels are in the air and they will actually need to dig under the car or have somebody to pull them out. Some others will come all the way to the top before even reaching the end of the dune and then they will stop. Now because again they get scared they just see a blue sky if you're in that position there is no harm to actually keep trying more and more until you get used to it however if you're in that position always you went up straight you come down straight so you come up straight like this and you get stuck for some reason you come down straight never ever when you're on the top of the dune you turn like this to come down because the minute you turn like this the sand will accumulate under your wheels and then you will roll over so safety is very important make sure if you go up straight you come down straight on the dune the other part is so you're coming up here as I say, you can't see anything, you just see a blue sky. So how can you tell when you reach the edge of the dune that you're on the other side? Well, there are three ways to know that. First, and the most useful one I would say is, you just have to look under the side mirror, under your side mirror, just look underneath it, and then you will see the edge of the dune. So you're coming like this, you look, under your side mirror and you will see the edge of the dune so you can see when you're approaching it the second method is if you're in a car and you see the edge of the dune if you see it coming in the back of you so it reach next to you just behind you that's mean you actually crossed it and now you're on the other side the third way, which is a lot of the pro offerders use, is they just go for it and then the minute the car goes down, they hit the brake to know exactly what's on the other side. So they stay basically facing downwards. This brings us to the subject of braking in the desert. When you're in the desert, never ever hit a hard brake always be gentle on your brake because the minute you hit hard brake you actually sink in the sand and it will be really hard for you to come out of it you might even get stuck doing that so that's when it comes to the dune so you ascend the dune safely straight you come down straight when you come down if it's a big dune Try to go straight down. Again, never try to turn the wheels on the side. So, as I said, when you climb up, you get stuck, you come down straight. Same thing when you cross the dune, you go down straight. However, 
if you're coming down and for some reason you started to feel the fishtail which is the back of the wheels will start to turn like you know on each side fishtailing especially on the big dunes going down naturally your mind will tell you to hit the brake now what will happen when you hit the brake is your car will so you're coming down a dune you start to fishtail you hit the brake and now your car will turn and once it turn it will roll over so what do you do you come down on a big dune your car starting to fishtail and instead of hitting the brake you need to actually accelerate accelerate to a limit to straighten your car try to control your acceleration and you will see your car straighten up and then just before you reach the bottom of the dune hit the brake gently to reduce your speed so your bumper doesn't hit the ground and then you can smoothly go on the other side so that's basically for the uh, dunes going on top of the dunes and uh, coming down from a dune